Hi, I collect a lot of things. Manga, books, steel books, Lord of the Rings, video games, and even Funko Pops. Ugh. But there's one thing I don't collect, and I've promised myself that I never would collect, and that is anime figures. Well, that changes today. Sorry, future Leon. <laughs> I recently decided that I wanted to treat myself to my very first anime figure to spruce up the collection. It's not something that I want to get super into due to the space you need and the money you need to collect anime figures. However, I've decided I wanted to own a couple. But as with every collecting habit, the first problem was where to start. There are so many different types of figures from nendoroids to figmas to scale figures. And there's so many different scales. And then there's the decision of what series deserve my attention as a figure. Where should I buy them from? And how the hell am I going to afford it? <laughs> I needed to research, so that's what I did. I headed over to Hobby Ultra, which is probably the best site for people over in the UK wanting to collect anime figures. The reason for this is you don't have to import them. They're already in the UK. They're a little bit more expensive, but you don't have any hidden taxes, import duty, or just problems that you might face when importing them from Japan. Once I was on there, I scrolled through all their different figures and their pre-orders, and I was greeted by thousands of options options from loads of different series, some that I absolutely adore and some that I've never heard of. I also had to filter out some of the higher priced ones because despite what it looks like, I'm not made of money. Still, there was maybe too many to choose from, which ended up being my downfall. I came into this wanting to purchase my first anime figure and I ended up with two in my basket. The first was the Radio Ava Asuka figure from Neon Genesis Evangelion or Evangelion. Someone's gonna tell me off for pronouncing that wrong. Now this series of figures shows off the characters from the anime in kind of casual and trendy clothing. And whilst I really like the rest of the line, the Asuka figure was the one that I fell in love with. I thought the design was absolutely awesome. The shoes, the jacket, and the way the hair was molded. Mm, perfection. I was sold. However, this figure was coming out at the end of 2022 slash the beginning of 2023. And at this time, I wanted something sooner. Because back when I ordered my very first anime figure, it was January 2022. So I found a different one. The second figure was Shosu, a Wings Inc original character that was inspired with this feudal Japan design, which in case you didn't know, is one of my favorite time periods and favorite genres of fiction. The figure also reminded me a lot of Nier Automata, which is one of my favorite video games. So I chucked it in the cart. The release date was April, 2022, and I was excited. So I waited and waited and waited until the figure finally arrived in December. 2022. Eight months late. Damn it. <laughs> Guys, it's finally here. It's been an extremely long, arduous wait, but finally my first ever manga figure is here. I only ordered this like mm, almost a year ago. It's currently December and it's only just arrived. Let's just look at it. Here she is, my first ever anime figure. This is the Wings Inc. Shosu figure that got massively, massively delayed. And I've finally been able to pick it up. Let's open it from the bottom like an actual professional. And I've realized I've just completely skipped the box design because I really wanted to look at the figure. So let's go over that first. On the front here, we've got some like gold embossing of I assume the logo. All over there's these gold letterings. One of these says Hatsuaki. Not sure what that means. But this is a suave original series. One seventh scale figure. This is Shosu, which is a kind of sexy samurai woman, which was just the one that took my fancy as my first ever anime figure. On the back, again, the same logo. I assume this is the Wings Inc. logo. Ignore me if I'm completely wrong because I'm a massive noob. On the side, we got two nice shots of the figure itself and then the front window and then obviously the front image of the figure. I'm hoping that it's not a fake. That would be very frustrating. 
Is this even called Shosu? Is it? Is it not Hatsuwaki if that's what's on here? And nowhere does it say Shosu. I have no idea. So, let's get the plastic open. I want to say this anime figure was 140 pound to maybe 180 pound. Oh my god. That's sick. Okay, come out. It, it come out in one go. There's no bits. There's no interchangeable arms or weapons. So we've just got to unbag it. The design itself, super freaking cool, man. There are some flimsy bits on it, so I need to be careful. This is the figure. Lighter than I was expecting. The, the base itself feels extremely... Crappy, can't lie. Um, for a figure of this price, I don't really know what I was expecting, obviously. Never bought one before. Hat, pretty basic. Kind of this, like, uh, bamboo, like, ronin hat. But where the figure really impresses me is in the costume design and um, the painting of the weapons and stuff. Because the costume design, first of all, really freaking cool. Bearing in mind this, like, original figure, it's not based on anything, I'm really liking the the design the costume design is so dope she's got these high heel boots on there's like these red bows everywhere and then the swords just chilling around the back and she's wearing this like cape of like black and white like pattern that molds up into into a gray sort of hood there's there's but didn't expect that. I don't know why I didn't expect that. This is an anime figure, but there's butt. There's butt. I'm really impressed. The the swords themselves feel very flimsy, but it's because they're only attached by the belt, which is pretty cool. I'm so impressed just by the costume design. So I think the costume design is slick. It's really detailed. Like you have parts where things are tied. You have these buckles on the arms as well and the ribbons it's really detailed it's really cool looking but yeah the figure itself dope i've never bought an anime figure before so i don't know if this is the quality you'd expect from the price what do i think like monetarily i don't know because i have other figures like action figures and stuff that are as detailed as this that cost half the price if not a quarter of the price so i don't know if there's a premium on anime figures i don't think it's very clean like, I can't see any imperfections. I don't know. For for a first-time anime figure, I think it's pretty cool. But maybe a little bit more expensive than I would have imagined. That is the Shosu figure. Pretty freaking cool. I went into this trying to buy my first anime figure. Ended up purchasing two. And you see this one up here? That arrived just after my first figure. So it was a close one. But yeah, that's the story of how I bought my first anime figure. Had a couple of hurdles along the way, but we got there in the end. And she's chilling right up here for now. But soon the anime figures will have their very own place in my collection. Let me know down in the comments what you think of my decision of my first anime figure and whether you collect anime figures and which ones are your favourite. If you've enjoyed the video, as always, please be sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you want to go ahead and buy any manga, comic books, graphic novels, action figures for yourself, then you can head down to the links in the description and help out the channel along the way. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.